Let me tell you a tale. It took place 360,000. No, 14,000 years ago. Well, to me it seems like only yesterday. To you, it could be tomorrow. It's the story of a man. Known by 72 different names. Hmm. <laughs> what should I call him? When we first met, his name was Enoch. And even then, he wouldn't let anyone tell him what to do. Not even me. But he was a pretty good guy. What is going on, guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo, and we are here with El Shaddai. It just came out. And this game has been getting incredible reviews, a lot of nines from, from plenty of publications, and I figured we had to check it out, especially because it offers such a unique art style and a unique take on kind of a, a, a story, a biblical thing that has never really been covered in video games, and kind of a an entire facet of, of I don't know, of, of storytelling that just that isn't really covered. And also after Catherine, how much fun that was, and, and how awesome and crazy unique of a game, you know, that ended up being. I figured we had to check this one out because it sort of is along the same lines. It's, it's unique art style, unique gameplay, very Japanese in nature, and I think it could be a ton of fun. So, we're going to start off here. Let's get right to it. The armor okay? If not, I could... No problem. Everything's fine. Okay, so that's our dude Enoch, and this is like a, a third-person character action game with cr ridiculous art style. Oh my god, wait till you see it. I want not to follow us. Uh, watch your Azazel. Starting right off with a crazy boss or something. And this is just one of the, 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 the visual looks of the game. It changes throughout the different worlds and levels, which is amazingly awesome to me. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to beat this guy or not. We've got some nice kicking going on there, practicing our Street Fighter. And now he has taken off our clothes. <laughs> what is going on? Why did you take off my clothes, you sick demon? Whoa. KO, baby. To us. On your feet, Enoch. You get more than one chance, you know. Alright, apparently we have the power of the gods or something. We can get back up. I have... Never give up, not even if you're completely drained. You must keep struggling. Rapidly... If you die in battle, rapidly press buttons in the controller. Just any buttons. Just rapidly press them. Alright, we've got a nice library. But now, I think it's time to rapidly press buttons. So, three, two, great, one. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> Are we... Okay, um, there we go, there we go. Press buttons, okay, wake up. Gonna get up here? Whoa, time rewinding. Uh, really now? Are they serious? That's awesome. <laughs> I've never seen a game revert to the title screen like that. Holy cow. And a save. Weird. We're in for a treat, guys. It's time, Enoch. Are you ready to leave? I gotta say, I'm kind of looking forward to this trip. Say... You've not been down below for some time, have you? You're in for a surprise. Enoch, you sure that's enough armor? I'll take the best you have. Right. Time to go.
Enoch. Ooh, chapter zero zero. The journey begins in Weirdland. It's creepy dancing. See those figures in the distance? Figures. Try and reach them. Okay, let's stick out our arm. Hey, I'm coming towards you. I like this armor way better than that little practice tutorial armor. Hey, buddies, what's up? I like your long, wavy arms. I want to touch. Whoa! Really now? Talk about unattainable. Come back, my family, or whoever the heck you guys are. I don't know. Enoch, maybe if you picked up some speed, that would be good. The tools and weapons humans use are all based on wisdom from heaven. Wisdom humans couldn't attain in a thousand years. Sprinting a little bit now, that's good. Good work, man. Build up your stamina, slowly but surely. Anyway, try jumping to those figures. Okay, I will jump to you. I'm guessing that would be the A button. Yeah. Ah! Magic. Heavenly magic, let's go. Touch these figures. Sounds gross. What do they have these little teeter balls of goo? Fruits of wisdom were created by God. They can be helpful to people or they can be abused. Okay, so I'm guessing these are the health. And I don't want my enemies to touch them. I'm guessing it's health. Okay, can you take it from here? Sure thing, man. Basic controls. Move, attack, guard, and jump. That's simple enough. One button combat could seem maybe a little bit uh, mediocre, but from what I've heard, they do a really nice job of implementing different weapons as well as sort of a rhythm-based uh, combo system. So, move, attack, guard. Oh, and the guy that's talking to us, if you don't know, I'm not sure when they're going to say it, but that's Lucifer, basically the devil in human form before he was the devil or something along those lines. So, it's going to get interesting real fast, I think. Enoch. Humans have a unique gift, the power of choice. Free will. They can follow any path they desire. Didn't mean to kick you. So choose your path carefully. Ah! The future of mankind depends on it. Let me into your circle, my guys. I want to touch the fruits of wisdom, please. Wiggly man, I'm going to punch you. KO. Okay, apparently we're leaving. Not bad. If you're that good with your bare hands, let's see how you handle one of God's weapons. An arch. It's one of those little shards of wisdom the fallen angel stole. Now try it, Enoch. Okay, do we get to fight the Wigglies? We're fighting the Fruits of Wisdom here. Got this arch from the Lord. Get, or from a fallen angel, they said. Whoa. Why do I have to hurt the Wiggly people? I like them. As you can see, the combat is visually arresting. If I was reviewing this game, I would say, right off the bat, El Shaddai is visually arresting. I feel like I'm being attacked by a police officer. Alright, let's go. And it, it only gets crazier. I've seen the trailers, and the visual style only gets crazier and more awesome as it goes. There's some intense stuff later on. It was only when various shards of God's wisdom were stolen that Semyaza's betrayal was uncovered. But by then, he, together with the Grigori he led, had already fled. Yes, that makes perfect sense. I think this story is going to be a lot like Catherine's in terms of it's going to be uncovered as we go, which is very cool. So, I'm stiked. Because I love Nicely that story. done, Enoch. The Archangels are here. All is as Lucifer has shown. We, the Archangels, shall guide you 
with our voices. Enoch, you must return the fallen angels to heaven. That is your mission. Don't worry. We'll be with you all the way. Careful now, we're crossing over. Once we breach the veil, we'll be on Earth. Bring back any memories, Enoch? Alright, I think that's gonna do it for this first part. That's El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. Seems pretty awesome. The graphics are crazy. The combat's fun. Leave a like if you want to see more. I think this game will be a ton of fun to play and to watch. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And until next time, guys, we will see you later.